Right now I'm working on a collaboration album with an artist and he loves anything with a soulful sample whether it's drill, trap or boom bap. We've done a ton of trap and drill tracks together but we're missing a few boom bap ones so I want to show you exactly how to make one and how to keep an artist in mind when you're making them so let's get straight into it. First things first I need to find a sample and for most of my sample projects I've been using Tracklib who are today's sponsor. They have over 80,000 original songs which you can easily sample and clear so it's been perfect for the album. It's pretty easy to find exactly what you're looking for as well because I can go straight to tracks and then I can narrow it down by soul samples. Any key will be fine, any instrument, any BPM but for the year I want to go from about say 1960 to 1990 and let's just take a listen to some. Even this first one. This first one's sick. Getting okay, light advice from this one, but not really what I'm looking for today. This one's got nice vibes as well. Comes with the stems too. But you know what? I really like that first one, and sometimes I can spend hours going through samples on here. So for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go with this. Let's test it with some drums though. Could even pitch it up. Yeah, I think this has got to be the one. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one. And that's only going to cost me one credit. And Tracklib have said that I can give you 15 credits and 30 days completely free. So if you want that, then check the link in the description. So the BPM 78. I'm just going to match that. And I'm just going to see what the sample's got. So I really like this first part. Maybe something with vocals could be cool too. So first of all, I'm just going to work on this beginning bit. But I want the BPM to be a bit faster. So I'm going to go to, let's say, 93. And then I'm going to bring it back to four bars again. And then this will change the pitch too. I like that look there. It sounds hard. And then I'm feeling this part here. So I'll take it from that kick and then maybe just bring this part back. I could just bring the faders back too. So yeah, I'm going to take that, copy it here. And then this part. Then repeat this here. All right, so I've pretty much got the chops that I want. And the reason I stretched it to pitch it up rather than actually just double clicking and turning up the pitch knob here is because the sample sounds a bit cleaner when you do it. That's what producers used to have to do on analog gear before they had all of this. Sometimes when you use VSTs to stretch it, you get certain artifacts that just don't sound natural. So this way seems to be a bit better. All right, let's just do a quick clean up. Just a little bit of X noise to cut some noise. EQ to take out the bass. And then I'm just using fresh air to bring some of the high end back. And I'm just giving it a little bit of reverb. About 10%. I'm also going to make a cut around this region here because that's where an artist's vocals is going to sit. And then in the sample, you can still hear drums, but I'm not worried about that too much because I'm going to add my own to beef it up. So I'm going to use the source boom bap kit and the snare is going to be, we'll use this hear me one. And then for the kick, I'm going to go to my timeless boom bap kit and we'll use the heaven one and we'll just boost that up. And I just want a really simple, repetitive pattern to keep your head nodding. And then with these ones, I can hold alt, click and drag, and then just bring the velocity down. Okay, for the hat, we could go for something like this. I like that one. And then we can start by filling every two step. And with the hats, I'm going to show you a quick cheat code. Because usually you want to move everything manually and play with the velocity just to get a realistic feel. But if you don't have time for that, you can press Ctrl and A and then Alt and Q. Now, if you click this folder here, you're going to see some FL presets. So for example, I could go to Drummer Swing 2, open that. We'll see how this sounds. All right, let's try Drummer Swing 1. Yeah, pretty similar. I like this too. So I'll accept that. And then with some of them, I'm just going to bring them down a bit. I'm going to go with something a little bit softer, like number three door. All right, I want to open hat two. And um, we'll take this one. And 
and then whenever there's an open hat, I'm just going to mute the hi hat. Okay, I definitely want a crash in there. And then most of the time I add a ride like this. And then with the rides, I can just offset them a little bit to make it more natural and play with the velocity. Alright, before I add anything else, I want to sort the bass. And I thought about adding my own bass, but the bass in the actual sample sounds hard enough. But I want to enhance it. So I'm actually going to take that EQ off. And then just before this reverb, I'm going to add this frequency splitter. And I've just created a new track called Sample Low End. I'm going to click on the sample, right click down here, and then click sidechain to this track. And then in the frequency splitter, I'm going to right click here and select the one we've rooted it to. And then I'm going to take out the lows here. And I'm just going to move this along a bit. So now what this is doing is sending the low end to a separate track. So anything I apply on that is just going to affect the bass. And then I can just use this frequency band to decide how much of the low end is going over there. So right here, it's just over 100 hertz. So now on the actual bass, I'm going to add decapitator. And this is just going to be some saturation. Or we could just try a preset like dark fat. Then I could also add fruity bass boost and just turn this up quite a bit. And I'll just adjust the frequency until it sounds right. But I also want the kick to come through a bit cleaner. So I'm going to sidechain the kick to the low end of the bass. We'll add kick start two. go up here, go to processing, and then we'll select the kick. We'll click on audio and then we'll bring this back. Now, every time the kick hits, it's going to dock the low end of the sample only under 139 hertz. And then one more thing, I've got all of the drums linked to a drum bus. So I just selected everything. I right clicked on an empty channel and then selected root to this track only. Just because I want to add a little bit of reverb to the drums. And I might as well do it together. Then the only other thing I think it needs is just a couple drum fills. I'm just going to split the drums real quick and then I'll know exactly where I can add more fills if I need them. So yeah, I'm just going to copy those out a few times and then see if I can get a different part of the sample for the intro. Okay, so I like the bass in the sample. But I also want some sub in there. So I'm going to use this deep 808 from my Source Boom Bap kit. And then in this section where the sample changes, the 808 is going to have to change as well. And yeah, the 808 doesn't need to be smacking through like a trap beat. It's a chilled boom bap beat. I just want it for a bit of sub. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So now I've got the main sections. I'm just going to create a bit of an intro. So I'm going to make this one unique and we'll stretch it. Yeah, this could be perfect. Maybe we'll take the part with the vocals actually. Do the same thing though. Yeah, this could work better. Take the ride out too. Okay, there we go. And then I want this section to repeat twice, but the ride can come in there. And then just a quick change here. I'm going to take that fill out, make this kick unique. Add another kick there and take the snare out. And then just chop this sample one more time. So just repeat this. I actually need to chop it there. Let's try this again. Just subtle changes, keep it interesting. And then for this one, we'll take the drums out and use the fill. We'll take the open hat out and just unmute the hats. Yeah, I'm feeling this, you know, chilled vibes. And then in this section, we'll take a few things back out. And before I copy it, there's one last thing we can do to keep it interesting is add a filter. And if you watch my channel, you'll know I love using Fruity Love Filter. I just use the triangle low pass, bring the resonance down, and then I'll just create an automation clip. Just add another point there, set this to single curve, then it's going to gradually come off. All right, now I think we can copy it. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. So just starting off with the sample stretch, so give it that lower tone. I know these techniques that I'm using are what producers used to have to do. That's what gives it that authentic boom back feel. And then we're coming to the hook.
This is one of those beats you could just nod your head to. Does it need too much? Let me know in the comments what you think of this beat too. We're coming to the verse. So a little switch up. Just new part of the sample. I know I didn't do a lot to this beat, but it's all it needs. We don't need to overcomplicate it sometimes. 